Okay, hello guys, this is Castro bringing you a little video. This time, uh, of course, is going to be something new as you can see. It's Diablo 3 uh, Reaper of Souls expansion. A game which I have since release, so uh, for free, four days now. Yeah, that's this is the four day. It's Friday after release. I've been running around and playing around with the Crusader, and I wanted to make a video for those of you who have uh, Reaper of Souls to show you something unique that I found with this class that actually I started making walk with yesterday. So, uh, let's go over what the Crusader is. Crusader is basically the old style Paladin but way more powerful and way more sturdy. He looks like a boss. A huge chunk of metal, that's basically how you can call a Crusader. He's the only one that has the ability to wield two-handed weapons with one hand. The Barbarian no longer can do that. Except, I think, if they're mighty weapons, but I'm not not sure. The Crusader can wield almost everything in the game, excluding uh, wands and, and crossbows, bows, you know, stuff that the usual warrior wouldn't take into his hand. And 90% of the time when you're watching streams or checking out YouTube videos, people play with a Crusader called Hamadin. Because that's the easiest way. Because the Crusader has a skill that the Paladin in had in Diablo 2, meaning the Holy Hammer. The Blessed Hammer, I think it's actually called. Let's check just... Blessed Hammer, yep. And Blessed Hammer, basically, what you get is... This hammer flying around you. That you can spam constantly and you can see it's it's flying around and it deals 200 weapon damage by for each hit but that's not what we do we actually take a little bit of a different approach and let's go over the stats and basically what i have in terms of my build as you can see this 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 little guy has quite not a, not a very high DPS because honestly I I uh, got to level 70 yesterday because even though I got this game for four days I didn't have the time to play around and the toughness is high and the healing is very decent most most other streamers don't get to that level and now what this build is about the Crusader has a lot of skills a lot of passive abilities everything tied to his uh, block chance and the moment you realize that there are items in the game that will allow you to exploit that to its full advantage like I did accidentally by doing I was you know running around in adventure mode and I found out found a legendary shield called the defender of west march this shield has a stock 28% block chance to block, which is higher than anything that you can craft or anything that you can find, except for legendaries. And it has an added 11% 11 ch 11 chance to block, meaning it has a total of 39% chance to block. Its secondary, which is its completely you know unique skill, is blocks have a chance of summoning and charging a uh, charging wolf that deals 353% weapon damage to all enemies it passes through. Meaning, each time we block, has we have a chance of summoning something that will deal 353 damage to everything that it's gonna pass through us. Now, this has a stock chance of 38%, right? This thing that comes into play, let's just go into skills, is your passives. You know, I could set my passives differently, but I have Fever, which means if an enemy dies within 15 yards, you gain 10% attack speed for 3 seconds. That's basically to increase my attack speed as much as I can. Uh, heavenly strength to wield a two-handed weapon in one hand. I have to change my boots because they don't have enough movement speed. I don't have movement speed, but sorry. I don't have movement speed bonus on my boots, which means that I'm basically very slow, you know. By walking around, I'm slow. Third is finery. Gain 70 strength for every gem socketed into your gear. So, 
Yeah, it, this depends. You can change this out if you're not using a lot of gems. If you don't have almost everything with a socket, then I would change it out for something else. And the fourth skill is, you can no longer dodge, but your block chances increase by 15%. So there's this, just there you have a 15% increase over that 40, uh, 39%. Uh, so yeah, you got that. You can also, if you think about it, you can go for a few other things. Like one would be towering shield, but I don't actually think that it would be good because gain two p two and a half percent block chance every second. This bonus is reset one second after after you successfully block an attack. So basically, you gain two and a half percent each second, but the moment you start blocking, this 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 doesn't take at all. This doesn't take effect at all. Second thing is Iron Maiden that g would give you taunts because you are constantly, you know, enemies are on you, so. You just can turn them back. And also Divine Fortress. Your armor is increased by a percent equal to your shield's block chance. Meaning I would have a lot. But that's uh, that's the passives that can increase your overall block chance. Then you have the primary skill which I use. is Punish. The first, very first skill that the, uh, that the Crusader gets. Strike your enemy for 200 weapon damage and gain hard senses it increases your block chance by 15% for 5 seconds. So 15% increase again. When you block with hard senses active, you deal 70% weapon damage to the attacker. Now you start seeing where I'm going with this build, right? So each time I block, I I deal 70% uh, of my weapon damage back to the attacker. Unfortunately, I don't think this can be this this uh, is subjected to critical chance and critical damage. So those are only you know weak hits, but the wolves that I get from the shield are not. The wolves actually are subjected to my critical hit chance and critical hit damage. So while having this and those skills, like right now, I'm not using this skill. I only have the passive online. I have a 43% chance to block. And I will show you what kind of block chance I can get with using my skills. I have a 40% critical chance and 284% uh, critical uh, hit damage, which I have to increase to inc further increase my DPS. The resists are around six, uh, 500, 600. It's basically what I found to be good enough to survive, you know, because I, I had problems initially with higher t higher difficulties. I'm running around on, on hard right now because it's just the best difficulty in terms of how fast I can kill things. Attack speed increase is only 11%, so that gains up uh, once we get, uh, once we kill something, it, it starts going up. And you can see that even we have a chance to dodge 0.35. W that would be our chance to dodge. So that's completely would suck. So it's better to have that 15% block chance to incorporate with this shield. If we take off the shield... Oh yeah, we won't have anything. Comac being a bro and healing me up. So let's just uh, show you guys how this build works. And go over... The more important points of the build. One thing that I'll, I'll just breeze through the skills that I'm using. So punish with retaliate. So as I said, when you block your hard senses active, uh, you deal damage back to your attacker. My secondary is uh, bless shield combo, bless shield with the rune combust. Hold your shield uh, dealing 280 weapon damage plus 250 percent of shield block chance as damage. The shield will ricochet to three nearby enemies. The shield erupts in flames and has a 33% chance to explode upon impact, dealing 105 dem weapon damage to us fire to all enemies within 8 yards. One thing I will point out, guys, if you really, really insist on, you can tie up all of those skills to a given element and then gain uh, gear that are that is geared towards that element, you know, that will give you like 20% more fire damage. So, uh, provoke, hit me. Uh, which gives us taunt all en nearby enemies to, and instantly gener generate an additional 5 wrath 
for every enemy taunted, taunted enemies will focus their attention on you for 4 seconds. That's not important. The second thing is important. Gave 50% increased block chance for 4 seconds after casting provoke. So I get a 50% increase in my block chance when I cast this. Then we have Stitch Charge with Endurance, which is basically the amount that you have for 3 seconds. Uh, Laws of Vela with Critical. Uh, empower the law. Empower, empower the law, granting you and your allies 50% uh, attack speed uh, and 100% critical hit damage for 5 seconds as the active and the passive that is always on. Uh, recite the law, granting you and your allies 8% attack speed increase. So that's that's my 8% increase in attack speed right there. Bombardment with... and now I'm actually changes, gonna change this back to Annihilate. Bombardment which is calling an assault from afar, raining spears of burning pitch on stone onto enemies around you, dealing 3000... Mm, no, we're gonna change this. Then, there it is. Dealing 570 weapon damage as two enemies dealing 12 uh, yards of impact zone. Bombard commands randomly target enemies nearby for 5 seconds. Each impact has a 100% chance to inflict a critical hit. This ties very nicely with the laws of Vela. And now we start like, I'm just gonna show you first hit from an enemy and you can see that I go by 15% up, right? Let's just find some decent amount of enemies because one guy is obviously... Here we can, and now we start. Look that I don't even have to attack. I'm just standing there. But when I start attacking, you know, I increase my output of damage. The pulling shields when someone's running away or enemies are far by, I just pull my shield at them. Or when I'm overwhelmed with the amount of enemies, like those things. Those things are tremendously annoying. And you can see I'm just running around and basically everything that attacks me will get retaliated for damage. I don't use my skills almost at all. I use only the primary and secondary skills. The rest are for situations when I'm completely overrun by enemies. And and there's a, like a, two, two allied groups and a warden and something, you know, situ dire situations. Because the bombardment can kill mostly anything with one hit, save for, as I said, allies. Because it deals around 4, 000, uh, 4 million damage easily. No one here. The only downside that I know of this build is single target damage and attack speed. If I could have gotten a weapon that has higher attack speed, Overall, I would be golden, because this is the, the thing that gives me my increased block chance. And you can see my average damage is around 395,000. And it goes up once something dies near me. But this is a horrible, horrible place to show something. And now you can see what I do with the lights. I only have single target damage. And look, one already is dead. And I didn't even hit him once. That's basically only the reflect. Oh, an amaze! Ha! Maybe we're gonna get an upgrade. And this is when I start to use my shield just to, you know, get those. And th that was a vamp uh, vampiric enemy. That was why it took so long. Now you can recipite all the laws and everything, and you can see that this just deals tremendous amounts of damage to everything. So that's. I need to go back. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna end the presentation of per se the build how it works. It's not completely finished. There are a lot of points to upgrade because because this build has a lot of space to 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 work on, and also if I I don't have enough of a good gear to make it count, you know? Like, an obvious choice for me in terms of equipment I'm gonna show you. Oh, no. In terms of equipment, an obvious choice for an upgrade is the helm. 
The helm at the moment has 597 strength, critical hit chance increased by 4.5% and, percent. and uh, I r tried to roll for to change the armor for something else but I couldn't succeed so I have 362 armor increased and 1412 life per hit and that's per all hits so including the reflex from my shield so I'm basically unkillable if there's a the more enemies, uh, the more the more enemies that attack fast attack me, the stronger I become. The faster the enemy attacks, the faster the enemy hits, the more blocks I get, the more damage I deal to them, the more the more often I have the chance to to call in the wolves, and it's just it's just a never-ending torment of of pain for the enemies. I carry around a hat that I used uh, earlier, which only has base stats. Uh, a twenty percent socket, uh, a twenty percent life sock, uh, socketed uh, gem, which gives me a lot more life and a lot more survivability. But I I prefer to having critical hit chance, and I have to start caring for getting more damage instead of being survival. Because honestly, most guys that I saw didn't even reach the numbers of survivability that I have. And then if you think about it. My whole build is built on survivability. Because each time I get hit, each time something starts hitting me, enemies start throwing things at me, I reflect the damage, I block that damage, I have a very high block chance. With this I can get up to almost 90%, like I'll show you guys. Now I have 43%. Number 164. So, if I have the first the punish uh, uh, the punish activated then I have around 75 percent block chance so three out of four attacks inflict damage to enemies obvious place to increase would be as I said the helm getting a helm of command or a new legendary that is also found in the game that looks exactly the same as the helm of command but and also has a chance to block because there's only one belt, uh, only one helm that gives you 8% ch up to 8% chance uh, to block. So with a helm of command, I would get to 50% chance without skills. And the more chance you get out of items, the more you can start to play around with this. You can remove provoke and put like phal phalanx or anything else that you would wish. This skill is only for like the moments when I'm gonna play with friends or stuff like that. It's a free slot. You can put something else in it something that suits your fancy and like another upgrade will be braceless uh, not braces but shoulders I have you know normal shoulders nothing fancy rings in my case are an obvious point of uh, increasement I have rings that I use pre pre any sign of Reaper of Souls coming so Obviously, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, most important in my case. And then, strength resists to get at least those 500, 600 resists to, to survive everywhere. As I said, rings, same thing, very weak wings, uh, ring, weak ring, but I have problems with finding something with uh, resistance to all elements, so I'm leaving that. You can see I'm using actually two gems for resistance at all elements on my on my crusader pants also like this ring isn't that good also but it's still you know it still was an upgrade so I started using it the wailing host it dropped yesterday boots as I said movement speed movement speed movement speed I have with shield bash but I would change that to something else also like guys for every piece of equipment that you have you have to think about if it has like Chance, chance uh, to increase the slash damage. Look for things that will tie up to your own skills, like increase punish damage by 15%, increase blessed shield damage by 15%, increase bombardment, increase uh, phalanx, whatever you will put put in the first slot. That will that will increase your damage further than this will say. It has it says 400,000, but it will be more in the likes of five. 600, 700, 800. The more you can find things that 
have uh, skills associated to your to the skills that you are using, the more you will do damage. Same goes for I actually don't think that I have a single piece of gear that will have Yeah, I actually don't have a single piece of gear that increases my like lightning damage but those kind of gear also can work but then you have to tie up everything in terms of skill for it almost almost an upgrade so that's it for this little Diablo video I hope you enjoyed it uh, if, uh, if you guys liked it and you guys would want to see more in all of my videos uh, talking about the Crusader because I'm basically spending a lot of time playing the Crusader then tell me so in the comments and I will I will try to fill fill your fill your needs. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a good time. Uh, leave a like on the video if, if you did. And I'll see you guys next time on the battlefields on the fields of Europe.